Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my disaster of a fish room. Now, we just started shipping coral yesterday. I don't know why I keep saying we. Me and my other four personalities, you know, they give me somebody to talk to down here. I started shipping coral the other day and, uh, or yesterday, uh, after the holiday and it's, uh, it's been a little bit of a mess. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, welcome back to the channel and uh, today's video is going to be a little bit of an update on some of the stuff that we have changed around. Uh, we got some rack stuff going on here. A little bit of football chow. Say what's up. What's up? All right. Uh, anyway, uh, so we're going to talk about that, but the main purpose behind this video is to talk about the new video series that I wanted to start. Um, actually, uh, Andre brought it up to me and thought it'd be a good idea, and that is the Rate My Reef uh, kind of uh, video series. So uh, basically, to enter this, all you have to do is email me a link to a video of your system, or you can send me pictures of your system if you don't want to make a video on YouTube. And um, I'll kind of just do a few of them in one sitting, probably just keep the video between 10 in 15 minutes long, I will show pictures and, and your video, and I'll just kind of uh, probably just bust your balls for a while. It'll be fun. I think it'll be an interesting uh, series. And, uh, yeah, so if you want to be part of that, uh, my email is fishofhex at gmail.com. That stuff is in the, the description, and I'll also put it in the comment section. And, uh, yeah, um, you guys can be a part of that. And once I get a few videos in, we'll start the series um, and go from there. Now, um, I will, if I say um one more time... <laughs> I'm going to uh, start uh, getting into my Instagram questions. I know a lot of you guys try to contact me through Instagram. Uh, that is not the most efficient way. I think if you want to get a hold of me, email's probably best. But there's still going to be a turnaround time, and I'll address that later in a rambling video. But I do want to start answering questions from Instagram because i got a ton of them there. And uh, probably just do that uh, Q&A like I used to do before. But anyway, so new series. Going to try to do that once it gets started and get some, get some stuff going on here. Spend more time looking at the dog. Say what's up, man. So it's my new toy. So what's up? We uh, were out playing with the football yesterday. Now he woke up this morning, and grabbed the football, and was like, "Yo, you ready to go?" Anyway, um, new series, good. Uh, as for changes, I'm gonna walk back here. I went ahead and added the rack system over here, which will allow me to hold another 12 Ender 3 Pros. Now a lot of you guys think that I'm just printing on regular Joe Schmo Ender 3s, the $245 printer. That is false. As Dwight would say faults okay uh, these are not basic these are fully automated uh, you might buy the frame for two hundred and forty five dollars or whatever but these are about a I don't know between eight hundred and a thousand dollars I gotta call you back sorry about that honey uh, I gotta call you back uh, Jamie I didn't mean to you just call me at a bad time um, I, I'll call you back regarding your coral uh, situation here once I'm done recording so shout out what's up uh, anyway um, I will uh, I, I did do a video previously on these printers, but they're not basic, okay? So I'm not sitting here printing with $250 printers. They're between $800 and $1,000, depending on sales and all that stuff, each. So that will be a grand total of 20 Ender stepping on shit, Ender 3 Pros between the two walls. I have one Ender 5, which is working on some new stuff, and I'm going to have room for another one here in a little bit. Now, new stuff, I'm just going to show you guys briefly um, overflow boxes with built-in holes. And they're going to come with templates. I got uh, three different sizes. I also have versions of overflow boxes that don't have a back, so you can silicone those jokers. And there's going to be various sizes, and I'm going to work on my version of the Ghost overflow. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I'm working on for that. What's up, dude? Sit. Sit. Can you sit? Sit. Get close to the snout. Do you tell everybody you start walking on the treadmill? Yeah, you tell everybody. You're pretty good at that shit, too. Yeah, treadmill chow. Anyway, uh, yeah, so there's a whole bunch of new stuff coming out with the overflow boxes, so uh, definitely uh, going to show you guys that when it's done. I'm, I'm just, I just got to finish printing them. There's a whole bunch of stuff, so we'll see how this joker, this is actually the 4-inch by, I guess, roughly 12-inch version, and uh, yeah, so we'll see. Anyway, is that it? I know that's not it. I know there's something else I got to talk about. I'm going to forget. Um, yeah, I don't know. No, I think that's it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know. I can't think of anything else. I, I do have. I did have a, a list of things that aren't exactly. You know, I just got. I just got this board, by the way. Fucking, I'm bouncing around. I had a lot of coffee, and I just got back from the gym, so I'm a little hyped up from pre-workout. Okay, say goodbye because we gotta go. Anyways, um, I'm gonna try to get uh, a, a video out uh, today, which would be like a rambling type of video. I'm gonna try to work on that. But uh, don't uh, forget the live stream tomorrow at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You come on in, we can bullshit, you can ask your questions, and I gotta clean up all of this. All of this. And, and he wonders why his poop has colors in it. He goes around licking up plastic all day. Jeez. Anyway, that's about it, guys. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed the video, and it was somewhat entertaining, and I will.
Yep, stepping on toys. <laughs> and I'll see you guys later, all right? Peace.